Got any games on your phone? Doctor Who Comic Creator, the game literally no one cared about until recently. The one format of Doctor Who I don't really care about, which is comics. So of course I decided to buy this app because I am the stupidest person alive. Finally, I have the chance to put my favorite doctors in the stupidest situations possible. I can see William Hartnell stepping on an ice warrior and turn the 10th doctor from a man that never would to a man who wouldn't hesitate, bitch. So you were hanging out with Caitlyn yesterday? Re Rebecca, it's not what you did. I won't hesitate, bitch. As far as I can tell, there is only two reactions you can have to this app. An excuse to talk about how terrible Chris Chibnall's writing is, or a way to make really inappropriate memes, which is what Twitter has been doing. You will both be exterminated. Ah, I see. Well then, fuckity bye, Susan. There are four different modes in this game. The comic reader, which is a bunch of pre-made comics written by the team who created the game. A comic maker, where you can make your own comic. Fact files, where it has little bios on different characters throughout Doctor Who's history. And then Monster Maker, where you can take pre-made assets and make your own type of monster. And then there's a store where you can unlock everything for around $6 Australian. Obviously, this game is targeted to a younger audience, so it's not something that would necessarily excite older fans. But here I am, 25 years old, and I'm still complaining about it. We love to complain about literally anything Doctor Who related that's not marketed towards us. This game was largely ignored when it first came out in 2016, as far as I could tell. But recently, it has been updated to include the 13th Doctor, the New Master, and the Cyberlords, if that's what they're called. There is also a free version of the app that has a handful of characters and backgrounds and stuff like that, but to get the full experience, it, you really have to pay the full price. We're going to start talking about the Comic Maker first, because that's really the draw card of the entire app. So at first you're greeted with a screen where you can make your own comic title. So let's say Nissa Rules. And you have a few different options to choose from. You have backgrounds, you have characters, you have props, you have speech bubbles, sounds, and to choose your own monster that you've made. Primarily, the whole thing is really drag and drop. It's not too difficult to use, but since you're using a touch screen, it can be a bit fiddly. So you're trying to like press everything. And if you've got fat fingers like me, it's kind of a nightmare. So I've paid the full $6 so I can unlock all the characters so I could really see how the app works. So I've got all 13 Doctors, but I think that happens if you have the free version also. But you're limited to the amount of characters you have. The app is quite new series based because it's aimed for a younger audience, so I'm assuming they're trying to promote the current show. But the only companions they have is from Rose to Clara, so they only have those ones, so you're missing Bill and all the new TARDIS team. The only classic series companions you have is Susan, K9, Jamie, Victoria, and oddly, you've got Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister. The monsters are an odd selection of random favourites and then just some random custom ones as well. I feel as if the original developers thought this app would be a lot bigger and more monsters would be added in time, but sadly it doesn't seem like much more is being added. But then again, we did just get the 13th Doctor, and so maybe that could be a side of more to come. Honestly, I'm ready to start a petition because Nyssa is not on the character list and it's a joke. Nyssa is clearly the best companion and everyone knows it. When you click into a character, you're given various character poses, which you can drag and drop. For some characters, you have quite a few different poses, and for some, you only have a handful. If you're someone who's very detail oriented and everything has to be era specific, you're not going to have much fun with this. <laughs> you're stuck with the current era logo, and the TARDIS interior they use is the Capaldi one. And the TARDIS exterior box is a very generic Matt Smith lookalike. It's pretty clear that this is designed for a younger audience, so those detail oriented things I don't think is really going to bother someone quite young. And from then on, it's pretty much straightforward what you can do. It's the same with the props, they're drag and drop, really simple stuff. Once you finish with your comic, you can do a play version where you can see it kind of move nicely. But let's talk about the limitations. Obviously, there's a very select view of characters and there's only a select few of poses. Let's say we want Nyssa like flying out into space. Well, one, you won't have Nyssa. Two, she probably won't be in the pose that looks like she's flying. So it won't really make much sense. So there's gonna be a edge of imagination in this as well. One of the things I thought would be really exciting would be the Monster Maker, but the more I look at it, the more kind of hard it is to really make anything new. The assets are kind of split into a few sections. You've got like the head, you've got the main body, you've got arms, and you've got legs. And then you've also got accessories as well. 
The problem is a lot of it doesn't actually match. So you will have a headpiece that's at a different angle compared to the body so they won't join together. So the best you can really do is make an abomination rather than try to make something that's actually usable in your new comic. So I would say the Monster Maker is more just a bit of fun rather than something you'd actually use. So for the comic reader, there's a pre-made story written by the developers. It's a pretty basic multi-doctor story where they just kind of showcase what you can really do with the app. But it comes clear why we have certain companions and certain characters from the classic series that we don't have for other eras. So let's say in part five of their comic strip, they have Victoria and the second doctor. So when you go to the comic maker, you will have Victoria as a model. Whereas let's say there's no dedicated fourth doctor story, so there's no fourth doctor companions and so forth. Personally, I think the comic maker is just a bit of fun, nothing to be taken too seriously. But I think the most fun you'll find out of this app is just making the most ridiculous situations for doctors that are so out of character. So welcome to the premiere of Nissa Rules! <coughs> Meanwhile in Doctor Who ship, you're not Nissa. Die, imposter! I hope you like death. <coughs> Academy Award winning stuff. Titan Comics, I'm just a phone call away. Let's sort this out, we can make it happen. So unlike when we talk about something like the collection box sets where they're quite a high price item, this one is quite cheap. I think it's quite a fun app to use for like five minutes and then you're kind of bored of it. <laughs> I think the free version is good enough, but if you just want more characters, just have that little bit more fun and $6 isn't that big of a deal for you, give it a go. I don't regret buying it, so if you're interested in it, give it a go. And don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Josh Nair's YouTube channel.